Hey, Mark Murphy, Boston Herald Marcus. Um, you guys talk about your resilience, especially when you're on the road following up a loss, but sometimes you run into trouble at home when you have a chance to double down on a win. Uh, what do you think happened tonight in that respect? Um, we just didn't execute, laid down the stretch. Um, you know, they went on a run um, early on in the third. We sustained it, uh, made a run of our own, and uh, after that, we just we just couldn't execute. On the right side, third row. Uh, for for both of you, John Corrales, Boston Sports Journal. What what happens late in the games when the offense tends to slow down? It seems like earlier in the game, the offense is really popping. You guys are getting a lot of opportunities, but later it tends to just kind of slow down. You guys are getting shots later in the shot clock. Um, I mean, I think we just kind of got a little stagnant. Um, everybody just kind of standing around, looking at whoever had the ball and trying. Um, no player movement, no ball movement. Um, we just got to do a better job executing down the stretch. And I mean, that's the difference in the game right there. Gary Washburn, second row in the middle. Marcus, there was a, like a play maybe the second quarter where you were dribbling and every, like Derek said, everybody's looking at you and you're looking at everybody to move. And I know you talked to Emei about that. How tough is it to kind of, when you kind of see that the offense isn't rolling to kind of jumpstart it and get it going? Because it seemed like tonight you never quite got it, the offense never got, quite got going. Yeah, you know, um, like, like Derek said, we got um, ball watching the guy with the ball instead of just moving like we've been doing. Um, and, you know, with the ball handler, it's kind of hard because you're trying to tell everybody to do something while, you know, making sure you still see the play um, with the guy in front of you and, and you know, you've been taught to, to make a play. So for us, is you know, we just got to move. Plain and simple. You know, if we if the ball gets stuck and you see it, just go, just go screen somebody. We, but we have to move. We cannot let the ball get stagnant uh, and let them load up on us. On the left side, six row. Hey guys, Mark D'Amico, Celtics.com. What was the conversation in the locker room um, about what you guys are going to try to take out West again uh, for game five? Um, just be who we are. You know, um, that's all we can do. Control what we control. Tonight's over. You know, we got to turn around and um, get right back to a Monday. You know, that's how we've been all year. You know, we take a loss and we bounce back. So um, it's who we are. It's who we're going to continue to be. And uh, it's a very important game on Monday. And the first row, left side, Adam. Marcus, what did you think about how you guys guard stuff? Was it, were some of these just kind of tipped your hat plays, or did you feel like you, maybe he wasn't feeling you like like you needed to? Um, I mean, we were there. I mean, he's a great player. You know, he made shots. I mean, you know, he made a lot of the shots where we were contesting from behind. Um, we had somebody there, and he was just making them. That's what he does. You know, we obviously have to do a better job of limiting that. Um, you know, and uh, we got to make it even more tougher for him. Um, it is what it is, and we get another chance to do it again on Monday. Left side, second row. Ime mentioned he felt like you guys were trying to target mismatches a little too much and then got indecisive. Is that, was that part of the game plan going in to look for those mismatches, or is that, was it the Warriors' defense that kind of forced you guys into those? Um, I mean, it is. It's a fine line between both. I mean, the playoffs is all about um, hunting those matchups you want um, and then taking advantage of them. And, um, I mean, sometimes you could go too much on that side or sometimes you just need to just play. So um, just try to find that fine line of whether we need to hunt the mismatch or just um, drive, kick, make multiple attacks, stuff we talked about the whole year. On the right side, seventh row. This was the first game where you guys had to play all the way down into the depths of crunch time, and Steph was able to get a couple threes just off of transition. What, I guess, what is the, the next level of challenge where you have to continue to chase and just be aware when you're getting all the way down to the end of the game? Um, I think you just said it. You got to be aware, especially at the end. It's the one guy, you know, you can't allow to beat you. Um, and like I said, obviously he made a lot of tough shots tonight on us, but when you get a guy like that, some rhythm early on, um, you know, those shots and then the basketball hoop starts to look a little bit bigger for him. So um, we just got to make it a conscious effort to find him and, and Clay and, and their shooters, uh, especially in transition. On the right side, first row. 
Brian Rob Mass Life. It's a question for both of you guys on they really hurt you guys on the offensive glass. Um, I think up to nineteen second chance points. How much of that is just a byproduct of, you know, the scrambling on defense or is there just things you guys have to to kind of do better in terms of keeping them off the glass? Well, we just gotta find a way to get the rebound. Simple as that. Um, ball goes up, whoever's there, we just gotta find a way. I mean, last game there was us that did it and this game was them that did it. We'll take two more questions on the left side, second row. Abby Chin again, NBC Sports Boston. Jason's struggling to find his rhythm in this series. Do you guys, Marcus, are you talking to him or is there anything you're saying to him? Yeah, we all are. We just constantly, you know, let him know, keep going. You know, this isn't your first time being in a, in a slump. It won't be the last time. You got to find, figure it out. Um, you know, we trust you. We believe in you. And this is what you made for. You know, and uh, Jason has to figure it out. We have to do a good job of helping him. But, you know, him being the player he is, these are the moments where he has to come alive and he has to figure it out. And he will. You know, we don't know when that is, but um, we sure it's going to happen soon and we're ready for it. And we're here to back him up. Last question. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, guys. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.